Charles Chui, a resident of Nanyuki in Laikipia County in Kenya, had been waiting and hoping for bus fares to drop from 35 to 30 Kenyan shillings before he could board the bus back home. He arrived at the Namaiba bus terminal at 8 a.m. I have not yet paid. Uh, I in the morning, the prices were high, so I'm waiting for, for afternoon hours. Chui told NTV why he had to be in Kenya in spite of the trouble at home. I'm supposed to attend court uh, on Friday. Nelson Sekandi, the manager of Namaiba Bus Terminal, which hosts 12 bus companies transporting people between Kenya and Uganda, says the riots have disrupted businesses and the number of buses traveling to and from has reduced. We normally take uh, over 15 buses from Uganda to Nairobi. But uh, yesterday, the number tried to decline. We managed to send only eight buses. And out of those eight, it's only two, bu two, two buses which are managed to cross the border. And uh, the six didn't reach Nairobi. Travel by buses returning to Uganda has also been halted following an incident on Tuesday when one of them was attacked by protesters. Good enough, the passengers were not injured, but uh, none of them managed to get their luggage. So all this luggage was taken by the people who were rioting. It is because of this uncertainty the bus operators at Namaiba Bus Terminal are suspending business until normalcy returns. Uh, right now what they are doing, they are communicating to them. They have to wait until the situation normalizes. But others, they are trying to do them a refund of their money. Raymond Tamale, NTV.